Good day, real students out there. My name is Pestos Okolo. You are welcome to our online class, mathematics class. Particularly, I will be concentrating on the GSS 2 students. We are talking about a topic today called standard form. Before I go further, I will have us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray you alone can teach us and cause us to understand. We are calling upon you as we go through this class, help every one of us to understand in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are considering a topic called standard form. And uh, what is standard form? Before I define this, I have to let us know certain things. Sometimes in solving mathematics, we must have come about some numbers that are too large for us to write. We find it difficult to express. So the short form of expressing this kind of numbers is what we refer to as standard form. So standard form is a form of expressing numbers, usually large numbers, based on the power of what? 10. Standard form is a short form of expressing values based on the power of 10. For example, if you have figures like, let's see, 1, 2, 4, or 5, 0, 0, 0. And you'll be asked to express this number as it is in standard form. This is a whole number, as you know. If you want to express this number in standard form, first thing you do is to locate the position of the decimal point. And when you have numbers like this, the decimal point is always at the end of the number. So in this case now, that you have 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, the decimal point is here. Now this time, we want to shift this decimal point to the position before the first number. To the position for the first number. That, I mean to say, it will be between 1 and 2. And we are shifting from the right hand side. Now, just watch what I'm doing now. You have to shift from here. The decimal point is here already. Though it's not visible, but mathematically you are seeing it there. So you have it here, you shift. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you want to express it in standard form. It will be 1.25 times 10. Raised to the power of the number of times you shifted. So it becomes five. That means 1, 2, 5, 0, 0 is expressed in standard form as 1.25 times 10 raised to the power 5. Take note, this time you shifted the decimal point from the right-hand side to the left. Hence, the power of 10 is positive. So in the case where you shift it from the negative side, or from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, it becomes negative. Let's consider that also. We have something like this. Let's say 0 0.005192. This time around, you have your decimal point here. That is the first thing you do. Locate where you have your decimal point. But this time, we are shifting it from, we are shifting decimal point from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Therefore, the power of 10 will be negative. Let's do that now, together. You see that we're going to move this way. One, two, and three. We'll stop after the first three digits. This is the first three digits. Then it becomes one, two, and three. So this number we express in standard form as 5.192 times 10 raised to the power of negative three. What we refer to as minus three. This minus three is referred to as the power of the 10 there. Now you can also change these values from standard form to ordinary form. In doing that, let's look at it changing from standard form
to ordinary form. For example, let's consider the example used above. You have 1.25 times 10 raised to the power of 5. If I'm making it to be in ordinary form, it will be 1.25 all over 100 times 10 raised to the power 5, which is now 1 having 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now looking at this, at this time, under your, this is changing decimal value to fraction. So what you have here becomes 1, 2, 5, all over 100, times 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you have 0 taking off this 0. You have this taking off this other 0. Then when you multiply out, what you have will be 1, 2, 5. Multiplying this, you now have 0, 0, 0. And that's why I said you can change from what? The standard form to ordinary form. This is how you change from standard form to ordinary form. Now, all the time allocated to me, because of this class, I think I'll be ending my class here now. We have given you assignment to look at. And you attend to this assignment and make sure you submit to me on WhatsApp to check. The assignment will be this convert 849000 to standard form. That is number one. Number two, express 2.500 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 in an ordinary form. Now when you do this, you submit to me online, and the WhatsApp number to do that is 070-67598881. Ensure that you attend to this assignment for me to know how far you understood this topic. And at the end, our mark and correction will be given. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.